I'm gonna need your help. Look at him trying to get information from a kid. I can fix things. Shit, that's what I do. He ain't gonna talk to you. Oh lord, that's gruesome looking. A crazy bitch you dabbled. So, let's just run through this one more time. Make sure I got it straight. You went in, things got tense. Then the people here killed every last one of our trained, armed, and armored soldiers, but not you two. The one armed guy and the priest. You called me over the walkie, we drove up, and here we are. That's your story. Mm. <laughs> what do you think about all this? They can definitely handle themselves. If that's what they say happened, that's what happened. That's right. Vouch for them. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a bunch of crazed, violent strangers to just keep the two of you alive. It also doesn't make sense for the two of you to lie to protect a bunch of crazed, violent strangers. Unless they weren't strangers. Are you calling us liars? Your guy lost control of the situation. We barely survived. Those monsters run loose. We need to smoke them out. We'll start with the hilltop. See if our friends heard anything. No, 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 no. At least no. they should know. There's some very dangerous people who might be coming their way. Don't go there. Is that why he says to Maggie what he says with the outfit on? Oh, that look! <gasps> Princess and Mercer Merce dabbled. That's not as fun. We're pretty awesome at this sex thing. I should know I've had a lot of sex in my life. Well, we're both adults. <laughs> I've had a lot of sex, and you've had a lot of sex. I love listening to you talk. <laughs> and of course the sex. Look at these two. Do y'all ship them? Rosita confided in me about a heroin experience she recently encountered on the job. Sebastian and some of his cronies forced Daryl and I to steal cash from an abandoned house outside the perimeter. There was a woman there. They had sent civilians in and none of them made it out alive. Mm. Yep. They Broadcast that shit. Quiet. But I think about that woman, April. And I'll make sure RJ gets to his classes on time. Oh my god, are the little walking dead babies going to school? Thank you. <laughs> If Michonne and Rick could see right, this. Bye. My heart. <laughs> Still got a ways to go. The progress is good. Oh, well. King Ezekiel, yes. He had the surgery. I never probably thanked you. Right? You don't have to thank me. I do. Hmm. Can't imagine the lengths you went to to make this happen. At least I can do is say thank you. That's because Carol's a motherfucking Jeep. Why don't you two take care of this? Are you serious? We have to save our ammunition. I was told you can handle yourselves. Look at Where's the this problem? prick. Won't you do it? Mm, blood and gut. Slice and dice. This is about a friend of mine. She's sick and can't afford the treatment. She needs a small procedure. What sorts of procedure? Appendectomy. <laughs> you. Oh, who's sick? Ezekiel, this is incredibly risky. I understand. She's not going to change her mind. And I understand the risks. She does too. I lost a patient this morning. Oh. Nat was here. Please. Who is sick? You want me to look for secret files? Yes, and steal them. <laughs> Eugene, we're supposed to be staying out of trouble, not looking for it. Rosita was forced into the situation by Sebastian. Mm-hmm. Sebastian the this prick. This involves the Miltons? The young psychopath, at least. <laughs> People have died. More are missing. Your brother can corroborate. Michael? He was there too. 
Mm-hmm. What do you want? There are some killers on the loose. Mm. So you wouldn't mind if we just do a quick look around, right? I gave you my answer. Mm. I'll talk to her. And why would you do that? Because I'm not here today. We homies. It doesn't have to be this way. Yeah. It does. We quit. I promise. Trust him. He's Daryl. You expect me to trust him? I'm asking you to trust me. Mm-hmm. She won't let him in. Daryl is the homie. How are you not gonna let Daryl in? You know we found tire tracks at the scene? Not a lot of cars running these days. You got something you wanna say, would you just say it? <laughs> just stating the facts. No wonder she won't work. The starter relay's disconnected. I'll just go ahead and hook that back up for you. This mofo is poking around. Let's test it out. they do you and your people have to send down hmm she don't like you kick rocks motherfucker oh and these two got busted oh. Carol what are you doing Carol look at King E's face thanks for the description I was hoping this new job of yours had connections here <laughs> I don't see why we Don't worry. I've got it here. Unless you plan on getting into more trouble today? <laughs> Look at Carol oh, saving the day. Bad trouble. Ezekiel, please tell me your friend is human. Hey. What is this? Wow. You really have to be busy. <laughs> I got a debt to repay. Is my patient already here? So he's helping people that can't afford the health care? Look at King E being so sweet. I wanted to apologize. Early. This is too weird. Oh. Walking dead couples meeting by the apartments now. I killed two of my men. And I covered it up. Mm -hmm. I'll do it again. Mm. Marge, you've had a pretty exciting life, young man. No, no, don't talk to him, you shit. Taking any exciting trips lately? How about your mom? I'm gonna need your help. Look at him trying to get information from a kid! I can fix things. Shit, that's what I do. He ain't gonna talk to you. Is there anything you want to tell me? I should probably go get my mom. Mm-hmm. Hey, hold on a second. What are you doing? I found this hat all the way back with the bad things happened. Oh, whoa. It's a shame for a nice hat like this to go to waste. Perfect fit. Oh, shit. Oh! That's right, Elijah. Oh, shit. Man, you gonna feel some type of way you were talking to her baby. This guy put his hands on her. Oh! You know, I'm a nice guy, Maggie. Plenty of others have made the mistake of threatening my family. Most of them are dead now. Mmm. Mmm. You turned this place upside down and you found nothing. So unless you want to die for nothing. Everyone lower your weapons. This dipshit needs to go. Back up. We're leaving. Good. Shame we couldn't be friends. Get out. I always didn't get a good vibe about this guy. Never had a good vibe about him. This clamp. Hold tight. Mm -hmm. ah, like this. What happened? A little further. Oh! There it is. Ew! This is all intense and shit. Oh! Show sure loves to stress us out. There is no back to normal. We know what we know. 
Oh, don't be touching her hand now. I can promise you this. Whatever comes our way, you will not face it alone. I'll be by your side, hell or high water. Kiss. Against all laws of the cosmos and humankind, we found one another. They're gonna kiss. Look at the zooming in. Look at the way they're looking at each other. Called it. Look at this psycho heifer. What's her problem? Oh, Daryl. Oh, oh. Busted. She gonna kill them all? Yep, she gonna kill them all. Come a long way to find you. Woo. I'm here to offer you a job. Job doing what? Give me a break. Now they want to hire this heifer. How you gonna hire? See, I'm telling you, there's something wrong with Hornsby. There's something seriously wrong with that dude. Why would you want to hire someone that's been killing your people off? Stole your guns, killing your people off. Why would you want to hire this heifer? Unless you want to hire her to do something to Migs because Migs doesn't want to work with you. Like, I'm telling you, Hornsby, no bueno. No good. But yeah, that was my reaction to episode 15, Trust. <laughs> we learned in this episode that Princess and Mercer Merce are a thing. We learned that Eugene and Rosita are trying to figure out what is going on with the Commonwealth. They know that something is not right because Sebastian the Prick has sent people to go get money. And they just know that something's not right about the Commonwealth. They know it. They're, they know it. Hornsby tries to go to Hilltop to figure out, you know, who stole his guns, who's killing his soldiers off. Maggie at first says no, and Daryl convinces her to let them in. And he even has a little interaction with Herschel, which does not go good does not go well trying to trick Herschel into telling him something about Maggie and the episode ends with Hornsby out there in the woods with his people and he come across what's her name Dana whatever Leah I don't know her name the bitch in the woods comes across her and he's like I want to offer you a job and I'm like what why 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 do you want to offer why do you want to offer her a job for what but yeah that was my reaction, getting closer and closer to the end. And I don't really know how I feel about The Walking Dead, to be honest. It's okay. Like, there are moments that are juicy, there are moments that are intense, but the storyline, it's just not... It's not doing it for me. Not not like it used to. Hornsby, that's our villain, really. Shit-eating grin guy. That's who we have to worry about. And some chick that Daryl dabbled. Like, I don't know. I just wish we had a really good villain. The best villain was Negan. And Alpha was good too, but I don't know. Make sure to give my reaction video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Share my video. What was your favorite moment of the episode? What do you guys think of this season? Do you love it? Do you hate it? And I'll see you all in my next video.